good day to everyone and you're welcome to my channel my name is lovely and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming by and if you're just coming across my video for the first time please do not forget to subscribe see i'm already welcoming you to the club i'm already celebrating you thank you very much okay so today i'm gonna be doing a spoken word piece on god am i a spoon yes i know you're wondering what's that what's that what's that don't worry stay tuned and you will be blessed am i a spoon i hear people say that a lot as a way of reminiscing on where they are now and where their mates are and then you hear them say god am i a spoon and it got me thinking because sometimes this is where comparison stands up from and before you know it someone has gone into depression because of the kind of things they see on social media everyone looking their best so posh fresh and fine with no pimples or wrinkles and then they began to look at their lives and compare with the words on their lips god am i a spoon and then I heard a whisper in my spirit, more like an echo, resounding loud. Yes, you are a spoon. A spoon made for the master's use. You are a spoon fashioned for kingdom use. You are a spoon the master wants to use to serve revival to the nations of the world. Yes, you are a spoon the master wants to use to serve healing and deliverance to nations. Yes, you are a spoon the master wants to use to serve healing and restoration in relationships and marriages. Yes, you are the spoon the master wants to use to serve deliverance in that family and break generational causes. You are not just a spoon, but the spoon. I mean the master spoon. Yes, you are the master spoon fashioned for war. Yes, you are the master spoon crafted as a weapon of war. Yes, you are the master spoon fashioned for a peculiar purpose. That is why your consecration is different. That is why your life can be normal like others. That is why your body, which is his temple, cannot be on display like others in the name of fashion. That is why your process is different. That is why you cannot do what others are doing because you were created for a unique purpose to feed the nations with the good news of Christ, to serve the nations with a message of hope, to stir revival from the corners of your sacred place. It doesn't matter how far others have gone. So far you were still on the master's dining table, there is hope for you. It doesn't matter how big others are making it. So far you are on the master's dining table. Everything others are running to get will be served to you on the platter of gold. It may look like you were slow, but you were on the fastest route to your destiny. So don't try to take a shorter route to make it quick because you think God is taking you through a longer route. For the end will always be destruction. Do not run ahead of God. Do not run ahead of yourself. Do not run faster than your shadow. For a spoon in the hand of the master can wrought a lot of miracles. For a spoon in the hand of the master can outrun the horses of Ahab like Elijah. For a spoon in the hand of the master can divide the Red Sea like Moses. For a spoon in the hand of the master can kill Goliath like David. For a spoon in the hand of the master can feed thousands. For a spoon in the hand of the master can but messiahs in different spheres of influence like Mary, Elizabeth, Sarah and Hannah. For a spoon in the hand of the master is a powerful tool. And I am that spoon. I don't know about you, but the master is still searching for more spoons to use because the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. So, won't you rather be a spoon in the vineyard of God, revealing Jesus in all areas of your life and showing forth his praises to people around you? The good news is that you don't have to be a pastor. To be his spoon every believer has a duty to reveal jesus in the area of their calling so you can be a spoon in the banking industry or put on the values of the kingdom you can be a spoon in the mountain of art and entertainment revealing jesus you can be a spoon in the mountain of relationship and marriage you can be a spoon in the area of your calling for in the master's house there are many vessels but i am the vessel he chose to use to serve the good news of jesus to a generation i don't know about you but it is never late to join the army that god is raising in this generation for a spoon in the master's house is better than a cutlery anywhere god bless you
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you were blessed and inspired. And I also hope you got the message from it. I want you to know that God loves you. He cares for you. And please be patient with God. Trust him. Trust his timings. Because he will definitely make everything beautiful in his time. See you all in my subsequent videos. Bye. And please do not forget to subscribe. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless you.